Alright guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to do is click on these add to cart buttons and we are going to update this button that we have in here that says cart. So as many times as we click on the add to cart, we are going to count how many products we are adding to the cart. So first thing we're going to do is go into our index.html. Okay. And uh, just after this script that we have down here, I'm going to create another script, okay, with the source of uh, main.js, okay. So I'm going to add these in here on the side. So I'm just going to do a right click, new file, and I'm going to do uh, main.js. And I'm just going to put a console.log of running, okay, just to make sure that this is working. So I'm going to right click on my page. I'm going to do an inspect. Okay. And I'm going to look in here into the console and I can see in here on the side running. Okay. If you guys can see in here, it's my console.log. So it means that my main.js file is connected. So this is perfect. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do is just go in here at the top and I'm going to do a let. And I'm going to do cards equals to document dot query selector all. And what I want to select is my dot add to cart. Okay. And I'm going to show you now what's that in here on my index.html. Look, we got these anchor elements that with a class of add to cart. If you want to see, it's this button. All right. So I want to get them all with JavaScript. So I need to target them. That's why I'm using this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an event listener. So whenever I click in one of them, I want to do something. So because we got loads of them, when we grab this, it's going to be like in a, some kind of an array. We can just do a for loop for let I equals to zero. So we're going to loop through all of them. And I'm going to do I is going to be less than cards dot length. Okay. And then we're going to do a I plus plus. Okay. So this is just a simple loop that is going to run from zero to cards dot length. So how much is the cards dot length? We got one, two, three, four. So I is going to be less than cards dot length. So it's going to be running from zero until three, zero, one, two, three. Okay. So if I do in here, console.log, I'm going to do, uh, my loop. Okay. I'm going to save this and look, I got my loop running on this for loop four times. So what do I want to do in here? I want to grab my cards. Okay. And I'm just going to put in here a uh, I because my I is going to change on this loop. It's going to start from zero and then it's going for one and stuff. So I can grab all my cards based on this. Um, because obviously if you guys remember, you can have cards zero to grab this one in here, you can have cards one, sorry, cards one to grab this one there and so on. That's why I'm using the loop. So I'm going to do an add event listener and what event listener I want, I want a click. Okay. Then I'm going to put a function. So what I'm doing in here is whenever I click in one of these buttons, I want to do something at the moment. I'm just going to do a console.log of button or I'm going to do added to cart. Okay. I'm going to just go in here, look at this stuff on the side, my console. I'm going to click on this add to cart and it says added to cart. I'm going to click again and look two times. I'm going to click again, three, four. So all these buttons now, they are working. So um, what do I want to do in here? Basically, uh, I just did this kind of uh, event listener if I want to. 
but at the moment I'm going to create a function called uh, cart numbers so I know how many uh, items I'm adding to the cart so I'm going to do a function uh, called uh, cart numbers so maybe the first thing what I'm going to do is just add some kind of value to the local storage. This is how we are going to save all these products that we are adding in here on the page. And even if you refresh, they are going to be remembered. So whenever I click in here, so I'm just going to do this card, card numbers. Okay. I'm going to put this in here instead of this console.log. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a local storage dot set item. And then I'm going to put a cart numbers. And then the next one, I'm just going to put a one, for example, and I'm going to show you in a second. So if I go in here, I refresh the page, I'm going to click. Now, first, before I click, I'm going in here on the top, I'm going into applications. Okay. By the way, guys, I'm using the Google Chrome browser. I think it's going to be something similar if you guys are using Mozilla or uh, Opera or whatever you guys or Safari. Uh, if you want to follow along exactly how I'm doing, just use the, um, the Google Chrome browser. So in here where it says application on the top, you, go, you guys go into local storage. And if you see in here, there is no keys and no values at the moment. Okay. So when I do local storage dot set item cart numbers one, this is, we are going to add something in there. So I'm going to show you if I click in here on this, look, I got cart numbers one. Okay. And if I click on again, it's just going to do redo the same thing over and over again. So for example, now I clicked, once and it updated my cart numbers, my key cart numbers uh, and the value one. If I click on again, nothing is happening. So maybe when I click this, I want to check if initially there is some kind of key value in there. So for example, if I know that is in here one already, I want that the next time that I'm going to click is going to increase this a little bit. So let's get this value the first time that we click on the button. Let's get this value. So I'm going to do let product numbers is going to be equals to local storage dot. And I'm going to do a get item. OK, and the item is called if you guys remember in here on the top card numbers. OK. So um, I'm just going to do a console.log of these product numbers. Okay. So look at this. I'm going to let me see my console. At the moment, there is nothing in here. I can just get rid of it. Don't worry about this um, error that it was in there. I'm just going to click in here and look, I got my product numbers. Okay, from there. But if you guys go in here and you do a console.log of type of product numbers, okay, let me just take this out. I'm going to click on again. And it says that this one that we are grabbing from our uh, local storage, it comes as a string. Okay, so we need to do something to convert this number from a string to a number. So for that, I can just do um, product numbers is going to be equal to a parse int, okay, of the product numbers from before. Okay, now if I log again, the type of product numbers, okay, I'm just going to check my console, refresh the page, get rid of this. I'm going to click on it and it says now it's a number because I use this parse int to convert the string into a number. Okay. So let's just get rid of these console.logs for now. Okay. So one thing I'm going to do before I start going on with these is just start in here a variable on the top called uh, products. This is going to be equals to an array. 
and this array is going to have some objects inside with the name of, uh, for example, a gray t-shirt. Okay, and then it's going to have a tag. Okay, this is a way that we are going to use to grab the images after. Okay, a tag of gray t-shirt and then it's going to have a price of 15 and then it's going to have a in cart of zero. So this is a way that we can just like track how many times this item, uh, this product is on the cart. Uh, so I'm just going to go and do the same for the rest of the products. I'm just going to copy these that I have on the side. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in here. So this is all the products that I'm going to be using. Okay, the gray t-shirt, the gray hoodie, the black t-shirt and the black hoodie. Okay, as you can see, all of them in the beginning, they have an in cart. There is nothing on the cart. Okay. Um, okay, so in here, when I click in one of these things, uh, first of all, of course, I want to run these um, cart numbers. I want to check first of all if there is something in here on my on my uh, local storage. Okay, so for that I'm going to do an if statement in here. Okay, because if I'm going to remove this, look, if you guys just click on this clear all and just refresh the page, if I try to do a console dot log of these product numbers. The first time that you come to the page and you just click on add to cart, if you try to get this from the local storage and you try to do this parse int because it doesn't exist, it's going to give you like undefined or no. Let's just check. Uh, I'm going to do on the console. I'm going to click and it's going to be like not a number. OK, uh, so let's do this if statement. So I'm going to do if. OK. If there are some product numbers, OK, it means that we already clicked in there from before we added something to the cart. I want to do a local storage dot set uh, numbers. OK, so I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to put this one in here. Local storage dot set item for my cart numbers to be whatever was there from before. Look, that's what we are doing in here. OK plus one. OK, and if there is no product, OK, in here we did the if if there was products already there on our local storage, if there is none, OK, what I'm going to do is just set my local storage to set the item card numbers to be one. OK, so this is what we are going to check now. Let me just go to application. Let me just delete this stuff in here, guys. Don't forget to do this because then you will it's not going to work as intended. So uh, I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to click in here. So the first time we are going in here, obviously we are trying to get something in there. You don't get nothing. So this is going to be not a number. So when we try to do this, if product numbers exist, which is not a number, so it means it's false. It means that this code is going to run. OK, so local storage, we're going to set the item of cart numbers. That's what we have in here on the top and it's going to set the value of one. The second time that I'm going to click one of these cards, we're going to get the product numbers from the local storage. We will get the number one as a string. Then we are going to convert this into a number. Now I'm going to say if product numbers exists now is one. So it exists and is true. So what we will do is do a local storage dot set item. Our cart numbers is going to be the product numbers, which we just got before with number one. So one plus one is going to be what two. Let's try it. There you go. And so on. If you keep clicking, look, you got all the number of products that you are clicking on it. Now, there is one more thing that we can do, which is when we click in here on on adding these to the local storage, 
I want that if this is the first item, I can just do a document. Let me just do a document dot query selector. Okay. And I want to select my uh, card span. Okay. Let me just show you guys what's this on my navigation bar. I have in here my, uh, where is it? Li with a class of card. Inside we have a span with a number zero. Okay. If you guys don't remember, it's this in here. Okay. Look. This span with a number zero. That's what I'm grabbing in there. Okay. So uh, let me go back. And I want to access the text text uh, content to be equals to um, so I want to be for example if it's the first time that we are doing is just going to be equals to one okay if not what we will do is just set um, the text content to be product numbers which we will grab from whatever is in here okay plus one okay so we are grabbing all the products that we have already on our local storage and we are adding one so basically we are doing the same thing as in here but we are updating our card okay let me get rid of all of these local storage keys that we have refresh the page and now look i'm going to click on add to cart okay so we got one i'm going to click again i got two and also in here on the top I'm going to click in here three and so on. If I refresh the page, look, now it's gone. Okay. We still have our local storage values, but in here on the top, our card is empty. So we need to do something about it. So what I'm going to do is just create a function. Okay. A function called on load card numbers. Okay. And this function is just going to check the same thing like in here from before, we're going to create a variable called product numbers is going to check the local storage to get an item of cart numbers if it exists. So I'm going to do if there are some product numbers from the local storage. Okay. What I want to do is just set my document dot query selector card span text content to be equals to the number of products that are on my local storage. Okay. Now this function in here is never going to run unless we call it. If you guys remember this cart numbers function is attached to a click event listener to these buttons. But this function that we just created now is never going to run until we call it. So I'm just going to call this function down here. So whenever we load the page for the first time, this is going to run and is going to check it. So if I refresh the page, look, the card is all the time three. So if I'm going to add, for example, like one, two, we got five in here on the top, as you can see. If I refresh or if I go to the cart page and then I go back, look, it's there. All right, guys. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.